Hey folks, this is Gary with ATVTorture.com. Here you can see we have a K&M Commander 1000. I just finished removing this plastic access panel to expose the CVT transmission uh, cover. What I wanted to do mainly was to determine how difficult this was going to be to perform regular maintenance on the CVT or to have, in case in the event we break a belt or have some kind of issues when we're out riding, to see if it was going to cause us a problem by, uh, by accessing it, whether we're in the shop here or if we're out on the trail. I will say that guy right there, the cover itself, is going to be a little difficult to do it if you don't have the right tools if you're out on the trail. What it's going to take is an 8 millimeter socket with an extension, something like that right there. That'll do the trick. It'll also take something to remove this panel. And what we used, um, this is a little plastic pry bar that we picked up at Harbor Freight Tools. They're like $3, $4 a package and you get a whole pile of them to do different things with it, just all kinds of little pry bars. And uh, you'll need a, a, a 10 millimeter socket to access the skid, pan, skid plate from, from below. Because you can get to the top three and the two side bolts, but you cannot get underneath the CVT cover from inside this panel right here. You'll have to go up, remove the skid plate, and go up from the bottom. That might be a problem when you're out in the middle of nowhere and don't have the right tools, but if you carry that 10 millimeter socket and an eight millimeter socket, you're gonna be able to tackle that job pretty easily. Uh, I'm not gonna do that, but I just wanted to, to show you this is what it's gonna take. In order to access all this, it takes about 25 minutes to get everything uh, disassembled and you just get access to that panel. Um, you'll have to work with those little rivets and they're kind of like most of the rivets you see on most ATVs and side-by-sides these days. It's a two-piece rivet. It just kind of plugs into each other and expands and keeps everything, makes it, it holds it tight, but in case it has to break away, you're not gonna shred your plastic in the same. Uh, anyway, there you have it. Uh, check back with us in a few more episodes. We're gonna get busy on this machine. We're gonna install an HMF exhaust. We're gonna install a Cuda Brown roof system from Extreme Metal Products, as well as a Extreme Metal Products uh, Lexan windshield. We've also got a few more items, items from uh, Promark Off-Road, uh, a winch system from them, and uh, we're going to start tricking this thing out and making it uh, a comfortable and a trail-worthy machine, so stay tuned.